What's up Devers, Sio Fantasia here with clipping. In the previous video I believe I explained in brief detail about clipping and the bitmap features. However, I feel that I need to re-implement clipping as I didn't uh, completely cover it. So this is why I have uh, designed this video for the explanation of the clipping feature of bitmaps. Um, entirely so uh, the clipping feature allows some part of the bitmap to be um, how do we say cut off or completely just separated from the rest of it just chopped off in some way that you only see a portion of it and not the entire uh, bitmap at some point so let's explain um, the clipping feature uh, which, is, which is inside of blit and essentially the clipping is this is the last uh, six parameters in the blit function uh, the blit function itself the first parameter is the source bitmap the second parameter is the destination bitmap so the source bitmap will be copied onto the destination so in this case our character which is going to be um, which is going to be a test figure which is a, a blue circle um, here that's going to be our image and we've loaded that onto into our character bitmap for this purpose uh, so our source is the character which is the blue circle and our destination that we want to copy it onto is our bitmap our buffer which is defined here now these next uh, four features are the positioning uh, much not less uh, positioning but the clipping these uh, not four but six actually let's talk about the first two no, no, actually, let's talk about these two. These two parameters here specify where the bitmap will be, where it will be blitted to. So this is the position. I believe in the previous video I explained a bit about Allegro's unusual system of, system of plotting and the Y direction. The X is as expected, but the Y is flipped. I'm sure um, that most of you will get used to that. But to, if you change these parameters, so from zero, if I wanted to change it, well, let me show you what the program looks like now. Okay. Um, by the way, I changed the screen color to white so that um, things can be seen easier. Now, the our bitmap is here, and it is in position. Zero, zero. Uh, nothing special about it. It's just there. Um, it is plotted onto our destination, which is the bitmap. Now, if I change these sec these uh, uh, two parameters here to forty and fifty, this is the x, and this is the y values. So it will go over to the right. 40 and down 50. So now it is here. Furthermore, if I change it to 150, 80, it will be in that corresponding place. It has changed direction from last time. So now we understand thoroughly what these do. Let's move on to the actual copying and the cutting part. Let's say that I wanted to show only a bit of our circle here, not the entire thing. But what we do is we would specify um, the top left corner from which to copy it. These two parameters here signify the left um, top corner. So if I wanted to maybe if I wanted to start at 2530 that's going to take 
that's going to take uh, the bitmap uh, 25 pixels over and 30 pixels down into the bitmap is going to be the left corner left top corner of the clipping rectangle okay so I've taken that and I've placed it here at 150 and 80 and if we compile this you will see what I mean see it's taken it's went it went some pixels over and some pixels down and it stopped at that point and it went all the way down to the bottom right corner it clipped off what wasn't what was outside of the rectangle to better get a glimpse of of what is actually happening I've created two variables X and Y and I had them to change with the values of the keyboard presses arrow keys so if I replace X and Y we can actually see these things happening changing now we're still going to be in position 150 and 80 close out the program and then rerun it now now what's going to happen when I change is it's cutting you see that it's actually it's cutting the pictures actually the image is at the same place but some parts of it are there because it's cutting it it's clipping more and more of it out of the out of the picture so if I wanted to go in halfway I would take character width that's the width of the image the bitmap itself and divide it by two and similarly we would take character height and divide that by two and we will get a fourth of the circle you see it starts in at halfway across and halfway down Now, the reason that we can see the whole thing is because at zero zero, that is the actual top left corner of the bitmap. Like you're not going, you're not actually um, transferring any distance from the x and the y. You are actually at the top left corner there, which is why the entire image is there. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. These parameters here act in almost the same manner as the clipping rectangle. Let's see what happens when we replace these constant values with our variable values. Now you see that initially the image isn't there, but as I increase x and increase y, the image slowly comes into play. So what you're seeing is what happens when you put the X and the Y here. It's actually taking um, that part of the image and it's going across and down. It's different from this because it's not going in. This is the bottom right corner. And this is the top left. Um, personally, I believe that these parameters are a little out of order. As you could probably have the top left and the bottom right next to each other instead of the position being in the middle but you'll get used to it um, and a lot of the time a lot of a majority of the time um, in order to draw sprites like the Mario uh, sprite that we just drew in our game you're not going to be